So you want to catch a yellowtail? Well, this is a video for you because I'm going to teach you how to catch a yellowtail. Not only just how to catch a yellowtail, but how to catch them at the one, the only Catalina Island, which everybody goes to to catch yellowtail. And a lot of you guys, I've got DMs a lot of unsuccessful people out there. So I'm going to help you guys out on how to catch these fish, what to do, what not to do, especially what not to do when fishing yellowtail, and what you're going to see, what the days going to be like fishing for them. You're going to have to move around. You're going to have to find the structure. You're going to have to fish hard. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you the whole steps all done perfectly. And let's go catch some yellowtail. And if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe because I got more informational videos coming to you very soon. Peace. Alright guys, as you see right here, we got my sardine. Jim's bit came off, but I'm just going to gently flip him out away from the boat. And once he's away from the boat, I'm just going to let him swim, guys. Let him do his thing. And as you can see right now, he's instantly chased. Instantly chased. Something's on him. Hasn't committed to him yet. But before you know it, it will commit. Oh, got him, got him. Oh, it's good fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. There we go, boys, first fish of the day. Feeling like a bonita for sure. One of Catalina's most common right here. Turn the handle, turn the handle, pull some drag. It's a nice little bonita. Hey guys, so basically, you know, you're fishing Catalina Island, you want to get some yellowtail bonita, barracuda. The bonita usually shows up first, and the barracudas usually show up first. There it is. Nice size little bonita right there. Get him unhooked and throw him back. Hey boys, we're gonna let him go. See ya. All right guys, so basically right now we're in the 90 foot zone. So you're gonna find your yellowtail anywhere from 90 to 60 feet. That's the zone you wanna be looking, or even 120. You wanna be on structure though. As you see right now, sandy bottom. The sandy, like it's hard bottom, but there's no structure there. Little speckled bait marks and stuff. You know, just junk. This is all junk on the finder. But you wanna get over structure and you wanna find the yellowtail guys. You find bass bonita, yellowtail will shortly follow. But you don't want to be in that 40 to 20 foot range. There are yellowtails in that zone, but you know, you have better odds of um, getting them deeper. But yeah, guys, I hope this will help you guys out. I hope we get a yellowtail and see you guys when we're catching fish. The bait out. Gonna see what's biting here. Move spots because we're trying to find some bigger game in the mix, but it seems like a lot of small game today. But, you know, Catalina Island's a great place to fish, so might as well have fun while you're doing it. Fish on it. There we go. Let's see what it is, boys. Feeling very calico-y. Doing those, like, big old head shakes that they always do. Here he is, boys. Everyone's favorite fish to catch on a swim bait, calico bass, but not the favorite catch on a live bait. Very, very common at Catalina. So, let him go. Oh, yeah, that's the right kind. That's the right kind. Might be, we guys might have just hooked up on a good fish. You feel good? Yeah, guys, we might have just hooked the gym. Might have just hooked up on the one. Okay, yeah, it could be just a big cuda. That is true. Yeah.
He's ripping drag? Jim got a yell! So you guys are right here, Jim's just pumping him in. Doing the right stuff. Keep on following the run. That one's just like yours. Yeah, guys, so basically right now, we're just flyline those sardines and catching yellowtail. Well, hopefully. on this one. I got a duck, so let me it's rod, whatever. I'll move it if need be. Need be. Move. Yeah guys, it's getting a little chaotic. Good yellow. Hell yeah boy, this is how you catch yellowtail right here. That's what I got for this. Oh, that's how you catch a yellow tail right there, boys. There we go. They do. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Be shot a little bad, but. So yeah, guys. We need to do the everything you need to know about how to catch these yellowtail at Catalina Island. Hell yeah. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. As you guys see, we're running that 20 pound gold label and 30 pound gold label right there. Nice little leader, these line chai yellowtail. And we're gonna get some more in the boat. Hopefully they're around, so we're gonna grind it out. You. Basically what we're doing is for these yellowtail right now, it's not great current, whatever. So we're just drifting for them and easy little fly line out there. And guys, what I'm doing right now, we're doing long soaks. So we haven't been out there for a while. We even put in the rod holder sometimes and just wait for that bite to go off. Pretty simple. All it takes is a sardine, size two to one circle hook or J hook, and just let them go out. And since we're off the spot now, what we like to do is slow troll our baits up. That way it gives them a great action and you're likely to get a yellow tail by doing that. And I'll just put the little clicker on and we'll go slow enough to where usually a sardine won't be able to pull it. And you'll know right away, flip it in gear and you're bit. Simple, simple, simple fishing guys. So basically when it comes to bite, when you're getting bit by a yellowtail, it's not even going to be a question. That thing's going to take it, eat it, crush it, you're on. It's not going to be like a barracudas, bonitas, they drop, they drop, they drop, they'll drop it. Yellowtail's taking it, he's eating it, just like an amberjack would. They, and usually when they eat, they don't miss, so. Jim's on. Just like that on that long drift, guys. Feeling good? Keep it 
try and make sure you don't get too shallow. That was good. So yeah, guys, I'm, sh I'm showing what Jim's fighting right now because basically I've showed like the bycatches are like a lot of people think like if they're not slaughtering yellowtail off the bat, you know, they're doing bad. But in reality, there's a three B's for a reason, bonita, bass, barracuda, because they're bycats. So eat your bait first. And those yellow, those yellow screws around and this cormorant is not supposed to be a bycatch, but he wants to be. <laughs> What did you get? No. He was up there. Okay. I'm gonna take a guess and say it's a Bermuda. Challenge yourself. Oh. Oh. oh! But yeah, as you guys saw right there, that's what I'm talking about by bycatch. Today I'm going to go over the other part about catching yellowtail on the jig with the service iron. Service iron, the whole theory behind it. People say color matters, but honestly I'm not a believer that color even matters. I think it's the motion that it makes in the ocean. Just like the, you know, the swim of it. Some irons swim bad, some tatties swim amazing. Basically guys, you're going to want to cast it like this, down here. See, I, I kind of like to have it like right where my reel is sitting. That way I can pendulum swing it. And what's up at the back of my swing? I get like the whole full cast out of it. And um, I let it sit for a second guys. And then I'll start grinding. But based on your gear ratio guys, your reel speed is gonna be different. This one, this train to the six uh, to one gear ratio. So I'm gonna grind it a little bit quicker. And yeah guys, if you can see out here, you guys see that erratic, the erratic action of it is what's gonna get you a bit. And yeah guys, <laughs> The yellowtail are like breezing or doing whatever. It's easy to get them, but it's blind casting can be difficult. But you know, when the bite happens, you're gonna love it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of Hog Squad. Um, we got our yellowtail and I hope you guys learned how to catch yellowtail. It means a ton to me when I know you guys are learning and you know, when I got DM saying or just any comment saying, you put me on my first yellowtail, you helped me catch my first this, you helped me catch my first that. It means a ton to me guys to spread my knowledge onto you. But if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I thank my followers every day so much for tuning in. And guys, if you're watching at the end of the video right now, if you're watching, comment down below your favorite floral carbon and you have a chance of winning 40 pound gold label. Peace.